Well, good night. We're doing another After Dark episode. I thought I'd start in the light and move to the darkness. <laughs> you don't know if I'm still here, but I'm driving, so somebody is. Oh, this is going to be a long episode. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Oh, Annie, I feel it in my bones. The strong storms are coming. Episode one, The Phantom Menace. I haven't said this for a couple episodes, but the things that I say, the thoughts that I have, the actions, words, uh, all that stuff, do not necessarily... Oh, there I am. Look at that glow. Do not necessarily reflect that of the people I work for, namely my school and district. Although so far I don't think I've said anything horribly offensive. Although, you know, it could have been taken offensively. Anyway, you know the benefit of, of having this after dark? I can totally, I can totes pick my nose and nobody knows. Whoa! I said the same word twice, but they're spelled differently. Nose and nose. And I'm chewing gum, so you don't have to get it, you don't have to see me chewing my cud like a cow. I actually don't really like gum. So why am I eating it? Well, that's a good question. There's a lot of things I do that I don't really like. But I do them anyway, out of habit or whatevs. I think I need to do another contest. It hasn't been that long, but I feel like I don't know what the contest is. But uh, I'll get to that a little bit later. I will say, um, we got some special listeners out there. I don't know if they're special or not. Uh, you'd have to ask their, their parents. <laughs> Boom, roasted. The theater troupe from the place where I work. I'll just call them the theater troupe. The theater girls and guys. I don't know who's with them. But hello from Rambling Nancy to you. This is me saying hello. I'm Rambling Nancy, and my thoughts on this are, I have some, and they're in my brain. Pert Happily. Now, that's an unrated character. I'm not picking my nose. See, I'm rubbing the side of it like Jerry did on that episode of Seinfeld. And then he goes on that rant. <laughs> but what if I did pick? Who among us has not had the the occasion what does George tell him you don't think Moses was a picker <laughs> of all those 40 years in that dry desert you don't think he had to clean house every now and then <laughs> oh boy what was I talking about um oh I was pretending I was, I was with my radio voice I've got a face for radio does that mean I should automatically have a voice for radio? Uh, this is B105.3. Welcome to the new wave of music. Brought to you in part by ShamWow. When you can't wow them, sham them. It'd be better if it was ShameWow. When you can't wow them, shame them. Seamus. You heard the name Seamus before? It's an Irish name. Good old Irish name, like Giuseppe. I like just Gi Giuseppe. That's not Irish, just so you know. Oh, I don't think so, car. Tried to pull in front of me. They caught themselves, though. So good on them. Look, am I still here? Yes, I'm right here. Seamus, though. Look it up. It's spelt fun. I wonder if that's because of Gaelic, the language of the, of the people there that the Romans didn't like. You can no longer... I don't know what a Roman sound like. You can no longer use this language. You must use the language of us, our people, which is a language that not even I'm speaking now. It is a language unlike any other. And I am Caesar, hail Caesar, full of grace. Hallowed be thy 
tunicate. Thy feathers, thy, thy feathered leaves in thine hair flow forward much like the annals of time. Much like the annals of time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Red, green, go. I'm gonna vent again about lights, man. They need to get cameras on them, they already do. Somebody figure it out. Figure it out so the cameras have some kind of say in when lights change colors. What if colorblind people see the colors the correct way? What do you think about that? And there was a mutation that flipped it so we see them differently and now, and then just totally ran rampant. Ran, ran ra rampant, rampart, rampart. Oh, the ramparts we watch. You know, that's, that song has been sung so many times. I wonder if people even think of the words anymore. Or, they probably just see it as the two letters O R as opposed to O apostrophe E R over, right? So they're watching over the ramparts. They see the flag, right? I had a teacher once that told me they didn't like the national anthem of the um, of the United States. A train, really? Inconvenience. T rain. Anyway, they didn't like the national anthem because the the end of the first verse is a question. I don't know if you ever thought about that, but it's a question, right? Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet? I, I don't know the words because I got to start from the beginning. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does anyone like that with songs? Like you can't think of. I can't sing songs really, and you guys probably could tell from me singing Avita. It's hard to sing songs. Sing song. It's like a it's like a teeter totter with sing song. Sing song teeter totter. Sing song teeter totter. We can we can watch What are we talking about? Oh, oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave? Right. It's a question. It makes sense because old Francis Scott Key card Francis. Scott Key. I don't know why I get his name except with Orson Scott Card. Probably because of the Scott. He wrote Ender's Game and that set of books. But Francis Scott Key, right? He was imprisoned on that boat and he... So he had no idea when he was writing it. Does that flag wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave? Or does it not? I don't really know. It's a question. So she didn't really like it though because of that. Conversely, they really did love the French national anthem, which is uh, uh, it's a little bit uh, how you say uh, violent. Uh, yes, just a little bit, a little bit violent. We like to slit the throats of our enemies and water our fields, so that we can have uh, bloody grain and uh, we can eat and not uh, starve. Something like that. Low power mode. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to record and tell the video till my phone dies. What do you think about that, Jack and Jill? Went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill just stared at him and laughed. You nincompoop. What is a nincompoop? Contest for today, ladies and gentlemen. The first person that subscribes to my channel and comments on this video, episode 17, I believe, with the answer to what a nincompoop is, we'll receive some kind of gear. I don't know if it'll be another t-shirt or what, but there's your contest. Boom. You gotta let it happen naturally. You gotta let it flow, you know? Much like the annals of time, you've gotta let things just flow naturally. Should I ask this girl on a date? Should I ask this boy on a date? 
Should we even date? Should we have a defining the relationships conversation? Well, just shut up and just let it happen naturally, you know? It's all about the zen and the natural and the now. Yeah, the now. Because na- you can't spell natural without now. <laughs> You, you can just just so you know. I I, I understand that you can, um, and in all reality, you should spell natural without now. But it made for a funner statement. Tell you what. Oh no! Tell you what, man. This gum is kind of getting old and stale, but I forgot my wrapper. I forgot my rapper. I've been listening to some French rap. I don't know why I'm listening to French rap, but it's pretty fun. Oh, traffic. It's nine o'clock. What kind of traffic we're supposed to be having here? It's Friday night. It's Friday night, Nancy. Oh, that's the kind of traffic. There's the copper has pulled someone over, and people are getting over for him. Oh, yeah, that's the, the nice thing to do. Yeah. Um. So, you know, did I did my? I don't know if I did my Canadian accent, eh? We got done watching. We got. We finally finished. It was a beauty, eh? We finally finished watching Strange Brew in school. Uh, during lunches with some other teachers. Oh my goodness, such a beauty, eh? Oh, gee, I don't know what we're supposed to do today. We're, we're gonna start watching another movie next time, eh? It's another beauty. It's a. We're gonna watch the the truth about Sally. No, that's not a. That's not what we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch the truth about Charlie. That was a movie way back when, you know. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, it was a movie with, with uh, what's his name, with, uh, The Truth About Charlie. That's a remake of the movie Charade, yeah, with with Audrey Hepburn, don't you know, yeah. I threw in a bit of Midwest there, eh? But uh, it's a pretty good movie, eh? It's a beauty. We're not going to watch that movie, but uh, it's got Marky Mark in it and a few other people. But uh, we're going to we're gonna actually watch uh, Monty Python and the Search for the Holy Grail or The Quest. I don't know what it's called, but that's what we're gonna watch. It's a pretty good movie. It's got a lot of quotable lines in it. Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? Oh, I'm gonna get over to the slow lane because I'm driving kind of. I'm, holy crap! I'm going five over, but people are passing me. That's okay. I'm gonna go over in the slow lane. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It's a beauty, eh? Yeah, we're gonna watch uh, Monty Python Quest for the Holy Grail. Search for the Holy Grail, whatever it's called. A lot of quotes, a lot of quotable lines from that one. Well, how do you become king then? The Lady of the Lake. You can't expect to wield extreme executive power become some watery tart through a sword at you. I can't do English accents. Supreme executive power derived from the masses. Good stuff. Who's he? Must be a king. Well, how do you know? Ain't got shit all over him. Good movie. If you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. It's a comedy gold, I tell you. Comedy gold. There's there's gold in them thar hills. Trivia question. A little trivia question. There's a line used in several movies. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. Which movie did that originate in? Is it A. Blazing Saddles? B. What's that movie again? B. Not the B movie. A. Blazing Saddles. Two. The Three Amigos. Or. 
the third bullet point the treasure of the Sierra Madre please call in now that's what a phone sounds like in my brain I'm just gonna let it keep ringing maybe they'll hang up uh, yes, hello, uh, this is, uh, Rambling Nancy, how can I help you today? Oh, uh, yes, I got an answer to your question! Oh, oh, uh, yeah, okay, um, uh, wh which question was that? Uh, Nick -a poop Oh, don't, don't, don't say the answer to that, we can't have that answer on the air. Uh, that answer needs to be commented on, uh, this video. Well, I don't know how to do that! Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to let you go, you need an answer to, uh, which line, which movie did that line originate? Is it one? Blazing Saddles. B. The Three Amigos. Or third bullet point. Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Oh, we've got another caller on the radio. Should we answer it? Why, yes, we shall. Hello, and welcome to the air. You are on live with uh, Ramblin' Nancy. What do you have for us? Uh, yes, uh, I have the answer for numero, I have the answer for the question. Oh, okay. Um, what question is that? Uh, it's the only question you asked, it's uh, the only question you, uh, it's the only question you asked. And I realize now my accent just changed, but I decided to make a change because I can do that. I'm a grown man. Or woman. I mean, it could be either or, but uh, I'm not going to tell you because I'm not. I don't want you to know. I don't want the whole 18 of your subscribers to know if I'm a man or a woman. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yes, that's fine. I, I don't mind. That's fine. Yeah. I'm just your host. Uh, the a answer. The answer to your question of which movie originated the saying we don't need no stinking badges or we don't need no badges is third bullet point treasure of the San Madre oh my goodness you did it you are the king of the world this is Mr. Nancy <coughs> oh I can't do it anymore yes that is correct treasure of the San Madre starring who well let me just tell you starring the one, the only person whose name I forgot. It'll come to me. Speaking of names I forgot, Lewis Gossett Jr., by the way, is the one I forgot the other day. It was in Iron Eagle, I think it was, and um, Officer and a Gentleman, Lewis Gossett Jr. But this person, um, Humphrey Bogart was the name of the person I forgot. Um, conversely, uh, um, conversely, I don't know if that's the right word to use. <coughs> my, my throat's still hurting from uh, uh, all the accents. Uh, if you haven't noticed, all of the mo all of the titles to my episodes are either from a, like a movie quote, a movie name, most of them are movie names, or a song of some kind. So what do you think about that? go through and try to figure them all out. Maybe that'll be a future contest. Ho, ho, ho. Anyway, yeah, Treasure of Madre, Sierra Madre. Older movie. Pretty good. It's long in times. It's about gold in them there hills. Yeah. It's also about the uh, the issues of paranoia. Paranoia, isn't that where you can't stop pooping? Well, it would be if paranoia was diarrhea. Jeez, idiot. That's what Dwight Schrute would call you, idiot. Well, I don't know if my battery's gonna run out by the time I get to where I'm getting my dinner tonight. So, but so far this is gonna be the longer video. Long, longer video I've ever done did make. I don't know if that's good or bad. You guys had other ones that had to watch it. So you tell me.
you tell me. But needless to say, we still got a couple minutes, maybe. Try to get all the way over to her. I'm gonna stop by stopping at a stop sign, so stop sign, stop light. So I'm gonna turn this light on. Oh, I might be able to, yeah, you get a nice warm red glow. This is me when I'm embarrassed. Can't you tell how embarrassed I am? Not embarrassed. Why is my blinker still on? What an idiot. <laughs> I'm going to die. Eventually, everybody does. It's natural. What isn't natural are my elbows. They're so pointy. I could slice a can open with them. I bet. Next time I see a can, I'm going to try to slice it open with my elbow. You couldn't see what I just did. But I sliced through the air like it was butter. Not just butter, but melted liquid butter. No, because that still sticks. Like butter, like a hot knife through cold butter, then it doesn't stick to the knife so much. Because air didn't stick to this elbow. Actually, does air stick to your elbow? That's an interesting question. Is air actually sticking to my hands right now? Hmm. Is air touching my aura? I had a friend a friend message me. I haven't talked to him for a long time. I still remember in high school he used to touch people's auras <coughs> instead of their bubbles. <laughs> I'm touching your aura. I don't know if you remember that friend of mine, uh, if you ever see this. But I remember that. That was good times. Good times. I'm beginning to think this whole filibustering idea is something that could uh, easily take place. You know, I'm in, in 22 minutes, I probably have paused too long. I can look up the official rules for filibustering. And I think with filibustering, you just gotta start telling a story. That's probably the best way to go about it. A boot it that makes me think of the movie Canadian Bacon, John Candy. Who else is in that? Rip Torn. Uh, Rhea Perlman. Love her from Cheers. Cheers is on Netflix. Oh my goodness, I've been through that series like six times. I really do feel like the bar Cheers is a place where everyone knows who I am. They know my name. I feel comfortable there. I could go there and Talk about the world as I see it. If I were in Cheers, though, I'd probably be the Cliff Clavin and everyone would want to shut up. They'd tell me, hey, shut your Clavin, man. Well. I made it to where I'm getting my drink. 23 minutes, 30-something seconds, 40 seconds. And I'm gonna have to stop because I can't really pause the video. So, hope you all enjoyed this video, which is now six or seven minutes longer than my longest so far. <laughs>